Right now, <laughs> she's more interested in Chewy than the toy, although I got him going a little bit. Chew, chew, chew. So notice what Chewy else is like. Oh boy, when this big friend ranger comes in and ruins it. So, when I'm doing ranger, I'll start the clock now because it looks like it'll be ranger's training session. I've been teaching out because he doesn't have the softest mouth for a lab puppy. Out. So then I wait. This is similar to what I was showing at Riley's owners the other day. I just don't turn back. And if the uh, teethies graze me, I'll make an ouchy noise. And I, uh, because I was talking, I lost my moment then to continue the play, so I'm just going to hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yes! You can get in there, too, Julie. Oh, Julie. So this is something Ranger's been playing with Julie today, so, and he's a puppy, so I'm trying to keep it on the make them leap for it so much. Well, Chewy's growth plates are probably uh, um, also I can try not to make it too hard for Ranger so he wins. Good boy, Chewy. So what's nice is Chewy's around us. He's not afraid to be around us. That's making Chewy a little braver. And I'm working my way down. talk as much this time so I can get proper <gasps> good boy. Yes. So this is how we can use a dog's fun and play to train them. So notice <coughs> it's just the beginning. Every time I say oh and then he lets go, I try to be right on the ball and get that toy out there to play with oh, sorry about that. Slow down a little bit. Drops it on his own. I'm just going to make him 
I'm just gonna make him play right away or, or move it to play. And if he does it, I don't like where he's chewing right there. So the whole reason for the dead man's grip is to get the dog bored. Good boy. No, that's it. I did for you, Rangy. We're getting tired anyways. 